Open Heaven 24th of February 2023. Topic. Growing Your Faith Part 4. Memorize. Jude 1 20. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Read, 1 Corinthians 14 14 and 15. 14. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. 15. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also, I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Message. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. 1 Corinthians 14 14. Each time you are praying in the Holy Spirit, you are praying by faith because you usually wouldn't understand what you are saying. In other words, when you are praying in the Holy Spirit, you are exercising your faith. Physical muscles grow by exercise, likewise spiritual muscles. Faith is your spiritual muscle, you grow it by praying in tongues. It is amazing how many Christians, including Pentecostals don't pray regularly in the Holy Ghost, and because of this, their faith has remained stunted. The more you pray in the Holy Spirit, the greater your faith and the brighter your future. If you have not yet experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you will get it today, in Jesus' name. If you have been baptized and have not been exercising your baptism, you must begin to do so. On the day of Pentecost, when Peter preached a great sermon after he got baptized in the Holy Spirit, the people came to him and said, Sir, what must we do? And he laid it out for them as seen in Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Peter informed them that the first step is repentance, the second is water baptism, and the third is to receive the Holy Spirit. This same Peter is the man who had given up on his dream to become a fisher of men. He preached and won 3,000 souls the day he started speaking in tongues. His ambitions came alive after he was baptized in the Holy Ghost. After that, there was no going back. He kept getting greater and greater until even his shadow was healing the sick. Your dreams can also come alive if you pray in tongues regularly. Action Point Pray in tongues for at least one hour today and make it a regular practice. Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.